We are going to share a We are going to share meat. Today we have slaughtered a bull of horns. It's proper for us to celebrate what God has done in the last two years. So before we usher into the party, allow me to welcome uh, the vice mayor. I now as a beautiful is that was my visa, very good visa, we go to the vice mayor to come and wish us. Welcome, honorable vice mayor. Thank you so much. This is a day of joy for the members of this church. For Rwandans in general, So we celebrate God for this opportunity that he has given us to have a church that improves the daily lives of people and also that gives them an opportunity to commune with God. And we are here to join you as you celebrate these five have come in the last two years. So the last census proved that Christians are many, but we are having a challenge of people without churches to go. Some people are happy because they are considered non-religious, but we all know that matters concerning faith they help people to improve their livelihood as well. So churches and faith-based organizations uh, the government, they help us a lot in many ways. That's why in our many endeavors we sacrifice our time to come and join you because the people you are living, they are the same people we are living. I was having a conversation with the pastor in charge of this parish. Usually the government does not accept a higher financial contribution from churches. But so we want the government, uh, the government would like the church to be partners in uh, implementing the policies that are aiming to improve the livelihood of people. Now, the, 
the country is facing the challenge of stunting children. The country is worried and is facing the challenge of people who are homeless. The country is facing the challenge of children who are not going to school. It is also facing the challenge of unemployment. Though we say there are some unemployed, some do not want to work. So we have all sorts of categories. Those who are poor, those who are poorer, and those who are at the lowest level, the rich, and those who are wealthy. So in our district, 50% of the people, they belong in the two lowest categories where people don't have much. That's why we would like to join our efforts in building capacity of these people and in mobilizing them so that by 2024 we may get to another category where many people will be in a good category. It is in that regard we are partnering with churches uh, in programs like eradicating malnutrition, in campaigns like come back to school, eradicating drugs, and even after this session there shall be a campaign on drug eradication. That's why the government is more than willing to partner with churches. So when such kind of message is given here at church, and it is given by a servant of God, uh, who is striving for a good life of church members, uh, when they realize that even their everyday life is uh, taken care of, is something the leader considers, so the message is well understood. So coming back on the celebration of today, we wish a happy anniversary to this church. As we assure you a continued and strong partnership with the church. Thank you so much. Let us appreciate Honorable Vice Mayor.